I started to take interest in thermal imaging or FLIR for looking infrared about three years ago. And for anybody that knows a bit about this deck, so a lot of you watching this video, you know that they are pricey. You must understand that the price will heavily depend on three factors, resolution, frame rate, and the quality of the housing. The better each of them is, the more expensive the thermal imaging device will be. It is extremely important that you skip every manufacturer online that doesn't include the specifications on said factors. Now let's talk about the specific device I acquired, but before that I have to say that this review isn't a sponsor by any means. I mean, no company would sponsor my small s anyway, but you get what I'm trying to say. This video will be 100% based on my own experience with the product, and yeah, I've owned this thing for about two and a half years now. This is the Fair Scout TK. Oh, remember what I said about the three principal factors that determine the price of a thermal? Well, this one being significantly cheap, well, kind of, and I insist on this kind of, sums up its performance and quality. But don't worry, I am gonna go into further detail. Let's start with the resolution. It is advertised at 160 by 120. With a little bit of math, that equates to about 19,200 pixels, which isn't even close to 144p, with pretty much double the amount of pixels, with 36,864 pixels. That basically means that the detection range is very limited, at about 200 meters. But also, it's going to be very difficult to make up any detail at distance. And when I mean distance, I mean more than 15 feet. Now, let's talk about one of the worst things about this unit, the frame rate. Yeah, you saw it all throughout the video. It sucks. At about 9Hz, this feature will make sure that you vomit your dinner in the woods after just 2 minutes of walking around with it. And I can't even fathom that some people tried to helmet mount that thing. Like really, look at this shit. I can't express how much of a liability that is on the move, especially considering the minimal resolution. The image will remain blurry if you continue walking. But I'm sure the housing quality is what takes the cake, right? Well, no. Far from that. While being very light, at about 6 ounces, it is fragile. I managed to break it in only 4 months after dropping it a meter from the ground. I remember that the screen was locked on the intro and that the sensor wouldn't turn on. Ultimately, I got it fixed, but now that the warranty has expired, I am worried this could happen again. The battery is rechargeable and that's a problem, because, well, the battery is garbage. Mine seems to charge incredibly fast and will discharge even faster. It is advertised as being able to put out juice for 5 hours, but for me, this isn't the case since I can only use this thing for an hour top. At one point, when the battery is low, you can even see weird patterns of pixels and lines overlapping the image. I'm starting to think that I got a lemon, but there shouldn't be one slipping through the cracks of FLIR quality control because, again, this product is made by FLIR the most renowned thermal manufacturer in the world. Yes. You could argue that we do get a wide assortment of color palettes, like InstaAlert, Rain, or whatever that is, but you are kind of coping by acknowledging the little cherry on top of the pile of shit that you bought. The Scout TK is obsolete, considering its price and the price of its superior competitors of the same resolution made by ATN and AGM, like this ASP Micro TM160 that has faster refresh rate of about 25Hz, 7 hours of runtime, and also a tripod mount. The final two questions we can ask ourselves are the following. What are the use cases for Scout TK? And should I get one even for a good price? 
First of all, there aren't many situations where this unit would be useful. Except if you need a light and compact device for surveillance, trying to find gain, or just trying to locate your dog or cat. Something static though. Second, don't. And if you already have one, sell it. For mine, I don't really know what to do with it right now. Even though I bought it for a better price, I'm still losing money if I really want to get rid of it. And at the end, you know, as bad as it is, compared to what is available today, this is still a thermal imager, and thermals, they're cool. It's a completely unique way of seeing the world, and a cool thing to show to your relatives and friends for sure. Like, subscribe, I don't worry, more is coming.